Um, hi, everyone. Uh, as I said before, I'm Colleen. I'm one of the co-presidents of Wixi, and I wanted to take this time um, for Wixi to acknowledge the um, amazing, pioneering Professor Rujna Baichi, who has uh, kindly joined us today and has been a supporter of Wixi and women in engineering in general for many, many years. Uh, and so uh, to acknowledge this and as a thank you for her work, uh, we would like to give her a small gift. Um, so here's a, we have a bottle of Hungarian wine, uh, but you're not Hungarian, but it was the closest we could find. Uh, and it's made by uh, a woman winemaker. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I can take three minutes, no more. Um, it's really such a pleasure to see so many women uh, here and um, the result of the efforts of the UC Berkeley, um, we, we are filling the pipeline. And I can tell you, I am on the recruiting committee for faculty, and we are seeing such a great woman. I always adhere to the, to the premise that we shouldn't hire women just because they are women. It doesn't do any good anybody. But we have such high quality applicants and I just came back from Caltech, and they tell me the same thing. So I think we are, and I remember conversation with Barbara about 2000 or so when I came here, and we were talking about the pipeline. And I will tell you, Barbara, the pipeline is really now filling with very highly qualified women, and that is perhaps the greatest pleasure. Now, if I can say one more thing, I was listening to the talks, and they are great, all great, but there is one issue that perhaps you, your generation, should take up on, and that is the technology is extremely disruptive. And I beg you to think about those of you who are have some influence in Uber or any other of these companies, that to think about how technology, the results and the profits of the technology should be shared. Because think about if really the, the cars without drivers will succeed, which I am sure they will, imagine all that the people who today make living out of driving will be away. So should all that profit from those cars should go just to the company? Or should we start to think about how to share the profits from our developed technology? Thank you. <laughs>